Hello YouTube, how's it going? Jamie Wilson back again for the next part of the brand new Trivium album, What the Dead Men Say. In this part, we are going to be listening to track number three, known as Catastrophist. Obviously, I've not heard it yet. I've got some uh, meanings behind the song ready to go based on a, a Kerrang! magazine issue that came out with an interview with Paolo, who is Trivium's bassist, giving meanings and explanations behind all these different songs. So I'll quote some of that as the video goes on. I hope you have enjoyed this little sort of mini series as well. If you have, hit a like on the video. Let me know I'm doing a good job. Also, hit that little red subscribe button if you're new. I'm going to be doing every single song in this, breaking down as much as I possibly can on what's said in the articles, what I think and everything like that. And I want to hear your contributions, what you think down below in the comment section. Perfect, so here we are, track number three. It came out a month ago. Guess who's late? Me. Let's go. Oh, I just saw Matt. Matt's in the video. Yes. Oh, nice and creepy. Okay. This is like some saw shit. Oh shit. Okay, so it looks to be that, or at least perceived just now, that Matt has gone ahead and abducted this girl, tied her up in the middle of the woods somewhere in some sort of weird maze jigsaw puzzle thing, watching her through a TV and whilst providing a saucy and sexy guitar lick. I like it. Just a quick mention from one of the pieces of the article about this song said by Paolo was that their first instinct was to release the title track first as it was a heavier track. There was, some, there was something nice about releasing the title track, like, w like we did with Sin in the Sentence. Oh yeah, I think that was the first track that they did actually release from that album. We love both of the songs equally, but Catastrophist has a, sl a slow build into a more chaotic middle, and any time we showed someone outside of the band the song, people gravitated towards it. I think it's because the chorus is so big, so we can expect very big things. Let's go. Apart from the vicious cycles feeding back again Conserve and free to generate We death is just to liberate Born and soul before we can even breathe I feel like we're falling alive by the sun of our breach I feel like a lot to me, yeah, I get love to our needs Oh, that's a chorus. Oh, that's the drummer. Oh, the rest of the guys, okay. Right, so I'm seeing a lot to do with it looks to be not just Matt that's abducted them, it's the entire band. That's a that's so cool, and the fact that they're just, you know, chilling on a couch, watching them as they're going through this weird kind of saw-like maze. <laughs> Yeah. 
so it's interesting to see because I saw some of these symbols, you know, like on like little kind of like plates hidden under a bush or like made out of sticks. So I wonder what these are actually representing because I know that Trivium are quite a band that do like their random little symbols and things like that because I mean we've seen it on things before like for example Sin in the Sentence. They've got like a lot of like strange little symbols and everything like that. It could just be totally random or they can mean different things. I don't know what they've got going on with this, uh, but it's extremely interesting. See what I mean? Just like there. Just there. Oh shit, it's coming. Bad. Right down. Oh, it's still building. Come on. That is actually so awesome, the fact that they're just chilling there, watching these people essentially fight for their lives whilst just, you know, eating popcorn and drinking booze. Just relating back to the article again on things that Paolo's outlined about this particular song, is that he says that the literal meaning for catastrophist, a geological term of people believing they are sudden extreme events in the world that change things, as opposed to a gradual long term. But people using it like it is a belief system of using catastrophe as part of a wreckage to benefit you. That's weird. So that's kind of like a weird kind of pictation of, I guess this must be like in people's lives, like a sort of, it's maybe about people's lives, a sudden change was totally unexpected rather than a gradual change. Mm, it's a bit strange. Ah, oh, kind of solo. so weird but so cool so i i thought that girl and these two masked people were together but it looks to be like it's the two masked people that are kind of chasing her in a way and she's trying to essentially fight through all the puzzles to try and get out could this be like some sort of like relation to like you know puzzles of life and trying to outrun death uh, i don't this is i don't know what do you guys think Ah, nice. I like that slow section. You stole our So apparently he was also mentioning in this interview that he was talking to someone a few days prior to doing this interview 
and he was being told that someone listened to this song and in a way they th they felt that it was if this song like more like what the lyrics are saying that's kind of like predicting things you know with what everything going on in the world just now with coronavirus ca causing meltdowns of all sorts when it comes to you know say for example financial meltdowns the, just the economy in general it's a bit of a strange way to, to put it that sounds a bit backwards i didn't think about that but he's paulo's outlined the fact that He's a he's outlined the fact that he doesn't think that it's that in depth, and that realistically, when people either rich or poor, in the grand scheme of things, are all kind of gonna ha end up winding the same sort of fate anyway. But he doesn't think that he should read into this about too much to try and relate because he, do he I don't think he thinks anything of this relating to any sort of prediction making or anything like that. But still, an interesting concept, but a bit of a weirder out of the box one. as if she's just spent the entire day trying to escape and she's just wound up exactly where she was before at the start that's a creepy way to go about it so i definitely think that this was my so far favorite track of the album so far that was actually really cool powell was definitely right when he said about the slow start and then just a really big chorus definitely agree on that one let me know what you guys think of this song and what you managed to pick up from the song or the video in the comment section down below it's really interesting to see what you guys think I think that's going to do it for this video just now on track number three, Catastrophist. So I hope you have enjoyed. Part four will be swiftly around the corner reacting to track number four, Among the Shadows and the Stones. That'll be a really interesting one in the next video. So if you have enjoyed, please let me know with a comment down below on what you thought of the entire video or the song, anything like that. Leave a like on the video as well to sh share the love. And finally, hit that little red subscribe button as well because you want to stick around for the rest of this album because it is so far amazing and I cannot wait to continue. So until the next video, you guys, I shall see you there. So until then, peace.